Hi guys, it's Angel and Sarah, and this is going to be the off-roading version or part of going to Hungry Valley. So we now at Maxery Road. Ooh, you cannot see it. Hopefully I'll be able to get a, there we go. There's a little bit clearer. Fortunately, this video is gonna be in an upright position because it's the easiest way for me to have my phone up and the most stable, hopefully. So, um, depending on depending on how everything's going, um, you might see my face, I might be talking, there's not gonna be any music. Uh, my windows are down. Um, this is all an experiment. I've never off-roaded before. I haven't really been a vlogger or YouTube, whatever. We're all learning. So, depending on how this video turns out, it'll be either amazing and exactly what it should be, or it will be awful. But first, let's hydrate. I just had a great lunch. I went to Stater Brothers and got their family-sized sub so that I knew I would have my black breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So, I now have eaten half of that sandwich today. So, drinks to all of you, whatever you're drinking. Alright. So, without further ado, let's, uh, drive a... Bum, ba, na. Oh, I have the brake on. Da, na, na, na. <laughs> So, I am a little disappointed with, well, I think that's a pretty good view. You can't see the road I'm going on, but that just means you get to have bumpy fun. I think we're going to go with this view. I think it looks nice. Anyways, I'm a little disappointed with the park, only in the sense that there is so much plants that there aren't really any rocks so I'm bummed I can't really talk about geology but as for the day it's absolutely perfect now I'm taking this road so this is Maxery Road coming off of old Cotton Road or Cottonwood Trail from um, something land road or woodland preserve. Anyways, we're gonna be taking Maxery Road and we're gonna be taking the next right, which has this area, the color changes. So we're in green right now, which is considered to be really easy off-roading, which obviously, you know, you just got these little bumps and then flat bits. Nothing here has been too aggressive. Um, I've had some sandy turns and it looks like from the map, woo, um, they have some pretty aggressive arrows going on over there. I'm going to shift down some gears because I don't want to be braking the whole time. chill and low gear and we'll, we'll just tap the gas occasionally all right so um it'll be a different level it'll be a little bit more sandier it'll be a little bit more of an aggressive terrain and um i think that will be fun um maybe we're not gonna stay in low gear this is really slow but um i was just tired of pressing the brakes so much Anyways, let's just chill and uh, look at nature. If I see anything that really pops out my eye, I'm going to slow down, but you guys honestly are getting a bit of a better view than me because I can pause and look at things. Probably going a little fast, but that's why. I oh, I think that should be my turn off. 
Let me open my map again. Because we have a turn off here to the left. Uh, let me confirm my map lefts and rights. Because if I was going down this road and that was a right turn, I'm going down this road, it should be a left turn. But there will be this would be the f this is the first road break. So I'm going to say time to back up and make a turn. Backing up. Backing up. Krusty Krab pizzas. The pizza for me. Eh. All right. Maps are so valuable. I am not a great map reader, but I can definitely try. If I can find where my thing is and where thing I need to be, I can usually manage. Which is probably saying a lot compared to most people my age. <laughs> Which is a little sad. But, um, priorities. That's all it is. Alright. This is the turn I found. It's a little bit narrower than earlier, which is why I'm guessing this is why I'm going to want it. Switch back down to third. And let's cruise. Okay, we just hit across the map again. I think it's important to know where you are, man. If you don't know where you are, then where are you? I don't know. Yeah, that's not right. I'm going to get back to that main road because this has a trail name and I don't have a trail head. But I have this cross in the road, and I'm assuming it's going to take me back to that original road, and this is just a crossroad that was created by some dumb fuck who uh, felt like, hey, I want to I wanna drive here. <laughs> Whee! gorgeous mountains everywhere So that was the trail I was going to. Clearly it is cut a loose. Or at least I don't care enough to um, find out more. So I am just going to go back to my map because that's what's important. And um, now that my plan's changing again, you make sure your mind's changing with your plan. Can you open, please? Thank you. Okay, so, okay, hello. So I'm at the entrance of that trailhead. So what I'm gonna be doing instead is I'm going to be going straight down this Maxi Ranch Road, straight ahead. And this will be a left turn. So instead of taking this trailhead and being able to um, just go straight, 
the whole time. Like this would be my only right turn. Instead, I'm gonna be making a left turn. And that left turn is gonna be onto Jackrabbit Trail. So let's see where we go from here. And then from Jackrabbit Trail, um, I'm gonna be ending this at um, Fort or Smith's Forks Campgrounds. Cause I was told by the uh, woman at the kiosk that um, it's the only one with uh, t freshwater t flushing toilets. And even though I do enjoy camping and I'll camp however I can, if I know a place in the same general area I want to be in and one has toilets and one doesn't that flushes, do I really have to say more? Like, I like a flushing toilet. So, on the road again. Da, 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 on the road again. Oh my god, birds. Oh, I love this. Oh my god, it's quails. Quails, quails, quails. Oh my gosh, please still be there. So this is why you always drive decently slow on these things. Like I know I'm sort of bouncing around, but I hope on the phone it looks worse than it really is. Because I, I promise you, I am, I will stop if I find a lizard in the road and if I see butterflies fluttering, I will definitely slow down, but I, it's too hard to gauge where to stop. But like, I'm looking out for the animals, I trust ya. Or, Trust me. And we just have our marker right here. We're at 100 meters on this trail here. Okay, excuse the weird sloping, but I just wanted to point out that mountain over there. Wish I could get closer to that mountain because it looks like we have a lot of bare rocks over there. And the closer I could get to it, the better I could understand is that rock, is that, I don't know, just, I don't know. I get a better idea of it, all right? Just, trust me. longer it will take to get to uh, the Smith campground. We're just going to be driving on through, not stopping out and checking out everything. But if there's not too many people there, I'll take a quick drive around and show you guys what that campground looks like. Milestone marker, 70 mi or 70 meters. I think it's meters. I don't know. Went to 100 to 75, so you do the math there and add your logic up because I'm not going to do it for you. Right now, I am driving in just my regular four wheel drive in what is my Suzuki Grand Viterra 2008 model. I bought this back in February of 2020. It's my first car I ever bought. And I'm really happy with it. You know, in the beginning of 2020, I couldn't really, you know, use this car to my advantage, which was really nice because with AAA is my insurance. They did this policy where they gave back a certain percentage of insurance for like three months and you know that was super cool and I hope it helped a lot of people who needed that 
So I wasn't doing a whole lot, and now we're in July. Okay, we're at another road sign. Do we have any other road signs? Because we have a fork in the road. Okay. Pausing, pausing on the story about my car and what it took to get to here today with this uh, off-roading day. Okay. This is the T that, okay, so if I want to, so I came down this way, I'm here, so I want to keep to the right, not the left. All right, so I'm going to keep to the right, then I'll merge with another road, and then I'll be making a left turn. This is why, maps, maps, maps. It's the map, it's the map, it's the map, it's the map, it's the map! Times have changed, everything's not back to normal, but some things are open, some things aren't. So I was able to finally get the work that I knew when I bought this car done. Uh, I needed a brake change, it needed an oil change. Um, we added STP to my oil because we were having a little bit of a ticking sound. I actually need to add that second half bottle because it, it's still there just a little bit, but not too much. Um, so brakes, oil, there are a couple cracks I need to take care of, but I've been keeping an eye on them and they're not, not, they're not doing any hurt. And then I recently got the tires put onto the car. My parents were really nice and they offered to buy the new tires that I needed for my car because I knew I had to buy them initially going into buying this car, so. Ooh, wow, hi squirrel. Um, so I just got Yokohama tires. Uh, they're the Geolanders put onto my Suzuki. And as you can see, they're treating this road quite well. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but you probably didn't see it. There's a little mound to the left. Um, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for this campground. Smith Ranch Campground. We want to go. Okay, now where is this? Because this looks like it's a one way street. Okay, Smith Ranch. So again, we're going to keep right. Gosh, I have to keep looking at the stupid map. No idea where I am, and I'm not using GPS because GPS is too confusing when you're trying to drive on trails. But yeah, my whole way coming up here has been pretty easy. I um, left my house a little bit before 8. And went to Stater Brothers, got my sandwich, got my food, got um, some baggies that I put my food in because that way I could collect all the trash that I had while I ate and um, I'd have a place to put it away and pack it away. And I came up and I was super lazy the last really long months and I submitted my taxes day of today. So along my way coming up here, I stopped off, dropped off my taxes, and spent another hour from there getting um, to here. Okay, we're getting bumpy. And yeah, so I finally have a vehicle that I can come out and really enjoy nature with in a more inclusive, greater expanse of a way. Because there's only so much area you can pass and gain hiking. You know, my last video was me hiking up in the state park and it took me about two hours to do three miles. 
and I don't give a shit what you have to say about time, but I stop, walk around, and I talk, and the amount of time that the video is when I post it, just understand that I'm saying that it's an estimately about two hours, so that video is a part of those two hours, and that's what you get to see, and I think that's really cool, because not a lot of people can go out and see what others can see, and being able to share it is nice. At least that's what I think. I have another folk in the road with no sign. Okay, here's another sign. There we are. Here is, I'm making a left turn for my Jackrabbit Trail. If you haven't checked out my last video, it's like, you know, I just mentioned it. You get to see a nice little video of a jackrabbit. It was so sweet. And that's why I just, I love these moments and why I was so happy to be able to drive out to a trail like this. a co-pilot when I'm doing the live ones I'll have a co-pilot and they can read me questions that you guys might have and we'll I'll just have more of a commentary back and forth maybe by that point I'll be able to afford a secondary camera so I can use my phone for the people and the camera for the landscaping and do the box shit head thing or I don't know but I have some ideas who knows if they'll happen Consult. Yeah. Boop, boop. Jack Rabbit Trail goes straight ahead and then it eventually becomes a three way fort into the campground. But we have a split. I know I made the left on the Jack Rabbit. I'm just going to go with a right, because that's been a general, like, theme here. Okay, this is aggressive. And that was a curb. <laughs> That's what that equated to. That was me bumping a curb. Ah, oh, this is fucking rad though. I don't even care if I get to the campgrounds anymore. This is cool. Oh, 
I see a car. We're on the main road. Where the fuck am I? Alright. Oh, let's see here. The trailer to me is road something trail. So I'm going to be going right because this is ah dust in my car because the windows are open. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm pretty crazy. So enjoy that if you if you do, you know. Just do what comes natural. Runner Trail 29. Okay, so where the fuck am I? Because the last Road Runner Trail I saw, Road Runner Trail. So I made a left. Okay. Either way, if I made the right turn, which I hope I did, I should be heading towards that campground. If I made the wrong turn, I'm heading in the opposite direction and eventually I'll know. Isn't that great logic? I was hoping going in the sand would make it easier, but it's just making it sandier. Trail header, Cougar Trail. Oh, that was just the map. If only I had seen that before. So, Cougar Trail definitely does not end at the campground we want. Open the map I'm ruining. Oh, Cougar Trail. But I'm at top or the bottom? I have to be at the bottom of Cougar Trail. So, if I go up Cougar Trail, if I hit Cougar Trail, does that mean I'm going down? I think I'm going down. Because if I hit this, and then I hit Rabbit Road, okay. I heard a noise. Okay. The road that I wanted to take that would have hit Rabbit Road, I made a left at. Now I'm at Cougar Road, which is below Rabbit Road, so it's like I never even made that left turn, or I feel like I drove further than this. I saw the Smith Ranch Road sign, so that means that this Cougar Trail, if I've already seen the Smith Ranch sign, I am so, oh, there's two Smith Sands, okay, okay. I know I went on Rabbit Road. So I wouldn't even have to have to run into Cougar Road. But now I'm also on Road Runner Road. I'm on Road Runner Road. I'm not on Rabbit Road anymore. Okay. I'm on Road Runner Road. Road Runner Trail. Fuck. Hit Cougar Trail. If I go up Cougar Trail, I will go back where I started. I'm going straight. trail has no name.
so I'm still on that route. Literally next to the highway, which is probably the most frustrating part. It's just like, if I could go through the fucking fence, I'd be there. But then I'd also not know where I was because I have a next destination plan. So I hope I end up where my goal is. I see a destination ahead, so this is a great spot to stop. That is gorgeous. It's just super pretty here. Super simple. And, I mean, you have buds here still. It may be a desert. It may be a little green, but there's all types of color still. I think that's just gorgeous. That's not what I wanted to happen. There we go. Let's get this baby back in its cradle. Okay. Let's find out where we found ourselves. Either way, we'll know where we are. exactly where I am. All right. We are at where I last left off, which was, or well, last time I was here. This was the very end of the park. So I basically just did a loop around um, the northern half of this park. Instead of taking the main road in, I did it off-roading. So let's see how well I can show you a map. It's going to look like crap, but it'll work still. So I started up there. Yeah, I can see. I'm great. Okay, where did I start? I started down here. Okay. So I started right about here. Started up there. So this is the main road. And this is where I started here. And I went off. I went off that main road. You can see I went off this main road. I took this over, I kept going, and I went to here where this little dot thing is. I don't know if I followed the road, but I really don't care. This is the stopping point where I went and took my hiking video. Yay! And then um, 
I went from there with my car. And for this video, we went down this way. We tried to go around that bend, so we had to go this way. And we had to get a fucking wherever here. And now, we are, we're somewhere. I don't know why we didn't find the campground. I think we should be here. I don't have any fucking idea. So, anyways, ugh, that was a little off-roading. Nothing that you see those, you know, crazy people who have the really fancy Jeeps and stuff like that. Like, not everyone can afford that, but your next best, best thing, your everyday driver car can still be an off-roading vehicle. And look at me, I have just completed about two hours of off-roading driving and I'm fine. I'm still here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I sure did. Um, I hope it's not that weird because this is one long freaking video and there's literally going to be no editing to this video as long as like the whole thing in some way doesn't sound weird at some moment or something weird. I don't know. But this video, if it's fine, will be 100% raw exactly what it was there will be no cut footage here so i hope that that is going to be my guarantee uh i'll comment in the video description or comments i'll co i'll comment in the video comments <laughs> um if it's a raw cut footage just upload because usually i do little chunks so i can rest and just have one moment of being real um, but here we went, we went straight through. All right, so you guys have a great day, and I'll see you next one.